I told you games fit in a Prius. Did you listen? No, but yes, games fit in a Prius. Hi everybody, welcome to Mike's Classic Pinball. I am Mike and we have an exciting day. I've already done a lot of work on some pinballs today. Had some losses and failures on Champ uh, that you'll see in the other video. Had some wins on Shuffle Alley that you'll see. But the exciting thing today is there's a new game in the shop. Uh, and I got it from a guy named Devin, not too far from me. And let me show you pictures of what it looked like uh, when I first saw it. And I was a little trepidatious. This is a 1957 Williams Piccadilly. Uh, kind of a rare old game and a real beauty. Uh, when I first saw it, it was not so much of a beauty. Uh, there was a lot of plastics missing, rails missing, um, or guides missing, the side rail was missing, front was missing. I was leery at best, but I wanted to see it anyway. Uh, apparently a lot of other guys had gone to go take a look at this thing and passed on it. So. Uh, my evil force senses drew me to it because that kind of stuff doesn't scare me. The play field's a little rough, I'll show you, but uh, actually I spent a little time on it and I'm super happy with it. Uh, Devin did some research. This is, he, he said that he's only been able to track down 10 or 11 others in the country. Uh, there's not many of these left. And so this goes back to, I like saving these games, especially ones like this. But this is kind of a unique game in that it is um, the second ever um, uh, two-player Williams EM. First, I think, was uh, Circus Clown, Circus Tent, something like that. It was a circus-themed one. Uh, and there were, they had a couple of two-player uh, pony games before that, uh, race games. But um, this is their second uh, EM two-player. And the other cool thing is this is the first one that actually had a tracker unit in it. What it would do is in the game, you're trying to light one, two, three, four, five, and then your bonus increases as you light them over and over. Well, this is a two player. So it goes to player two, they do likewise. Then it goes back to you and your progress comes back up. Your progress is safe. So pretty unique and pretty cool stuff. Uh, when I got this from him, um, I, like I said, I was a little bit leery. We did we did work out a really good deal. Uh, I traded him for a main bar top arcade that uh, that I had, and uh, he seems to be super happy. I still feel like I got a really good end of the deal on this one, and I'm really happy. This is my game, and it's been a while since I got to work on my own game. You know, like I said, there were some bits missing on it, but. Uh, as we were talking about the game, he hands me a bag with all of the bits, all of the missing stuff. He had the rails, he had the front, he had the plastics, he had the guides, the posts, the screws, everything. He had all of it. And he had schematics, glorious, wonderful schematics. I can't even find these online, but he had them. And uh, to help me finish it off, he actually also had a giant bag of rubbers, and this is the generic bag that has tons of different rubbers in it. So I'm really excited to how that's going to come out. So I wanted to show you the game, kind of show you where we're at and what progress is and what needs to be done. So here we are, Piccadilly. Look at this. I mean, the back glass isn't perfect. Let me show you. There's a couple of spots here and there that are a little... You know, a couple of spots that are a little rough, but uh, this thing is a damn sight better than most back glasses on old EMs that I deal with. Uh, no, I am not going to touch it up. I am going to protect it, but I'm just, I'm not even going to bother. Now, the play field, like I said, rough. Uh, it's dirty. It definitely has some missing paint in places, um, but that's all right. And it's funny because it's got mylars really old mylars around the side of this. I thought it was actually, uh, I thought it was uh, wear, but it's actually mylars around there. These and these do not have mylars, but uh, I, I don't know if I'm gonna take them off or not, but I'm definitely gonna clean and protect. Um, a lot of the skirts are pretty munched up, but you see the plastics are really good. And uh, one thing I really like is if you look on the front door here, hardware. I've actually got a complete front door and hardware. 
Uh, let's take a look around back. Everything's actually in pretty good nick back here. Everything was uh, pretty nicely taken care of. Everything is labeled, uh, which is nice. I've got labels on everything. And down in the back box, or down in the cabinet too, I've got labels all over that. And the nice thing is, he had the original back door that went with it as well. I've never run into that on an old wood rail where the original back door was there. But I wanna show you down inside the game real quick too. Now, it's, it's not that clean out in here, but... <coughs> Sorry, I have a little something. It'll clear up. Might take me with it, but that's all right. Now, I've been experimenting, too. This is actually a one-ball game because it's two players, and if you start putting multiple balls in, you can launch multiple balls, and that really screws, screws around with the two-player bet. Uh, but again, everything is labeled. Um, so that's really nice, and I've got schematics. So it's in pretty good nick, actually. Um, there's a lot that's going to need to be done, but I did quite a bit already. And I want to kind of show you um, how happy I am with this so far. I've got through a lot of, I've got through a lot of the stuff, cleaning, adjusting, all of that kind of jazz. And I decided today that I would give it a whirl. Look at that. And I think I forgot to put the ball in. But so it is actually basically running. Um, ball two. So yeah, so it's I've got to clean that up, but a um, couple of things. I know I've got some stuck playfield switches, so if you look at all of the switches right now, they're outside of the rubber. Now, the rubbers I have on here are actually my emergency rubbers. I have a box full of um, old rubbers that I pulled off of old games. If they still have some pliability to them, I'll actually stick them in a box and I'll hold on to them until just this kind of situation comes up. And guys, as we know, emergency rubbers, gotta have them. So, um, like I said, there's gonna be a lot of cleaning involved. There's gonna be a lot of like straightening up. I'm gonna go through the game and, you know, finish doing my usual checklist. I did find pictures of the uh, cards, so I'm gonna duplicate those. The wood, I'm actually just going to clean and treat. I'm not going to sand the shit out of it and restain it or anything. It's got a really nice patina to it. Uh, I think I might even have the cigarette holder over here. I might even put that on. And I do have the screws for this as well. Uh, I actually had a spare set. But uh, plastics are in good shape. All of the uh, guides are in good shape. Everything looks nice. The, the uh, caps all look good. They need to be re-inked. But... No wreckage there. I do need to probably get some new bumper skirts. And then a lot of stuff needs to be cleaned and adjusted and lights need to be done. There's probably several burned out lights, but I'm super pleased with this. I'm probably going to go through tonight and do uh, the playfield switches and get them aligned so that I can do a little bit more experimenting in safety. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. It's going to be a little bit before I get too much work done on this because I need to figure out what the hell's going on with Champ. You guys can see that video on the channel and got a lot of progress done on this, but I would like to get it gone. Uh, well, not gone. I love having it here, but I'd like to polish it up and get it uh, finished and get it over to Josh because he's, I'm sure, getting kind of anxious and excited for it. So 
Here we are with Williams Piccadilly. I'm really happy to have this. And uh, thank you again to Devin. And we will um, follow up with you guys later on with uh, what else needs to be done and any progress. Until then, please like, share, subscribe, and we will see you guys on the next one.